Leo, hi, welcome to my channel. So, we've got part two of your second half of February 2021 reading. Part one was a, a congratulations for somebody uh, getting pregnant. Um, so yeah, we'll take an issue of something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Leo, so do check out your other placements, your sun, your sun, your yeah, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Uh, any stellium you have in your chat and um, thank you for the like, share, subscribe, comments continues the growth of the channel, it's much appreciated and the description box has all the details for private reads ok, two more Seven of Swords ok, there's some deceit, sneakiness somebody wearing a false mask possibly Let's see. Something you're aware of. Something you're not aware of. Okay, interesting. Recent past. Immediate future. Okay. Alright. Okay, Leo. Um, three of Swords, Six of Swords, and the Hierophant. I kind of feel like you're, you're going to be mistreated in something here uh, in regards to a person, possibly somebody from your past, coming back. Not necessarily coming back. The, the, the whole message of this story is um, you never really truly understand how you've hurt somebody until it happens to you. I kind of feel like something's come back around here for you. But don't worry because you know you do get into your power in the end. But I kind of feel like you're going through some sort of pain. Um, someone's cheated on you, possibly something like that, leaving you out in the cold. But it's all because of how you've treated somebody in the past. So I've got the Seven of Swords. There's this mistrust, deceit, cheating, that type of thing. What you're aware of is the lovers. So it's definitely with some partnership of some kind what you're not aware of is the wheel of fortune this is karma repeating karma, it's a karmic cycle again it's like the, it is the saying it's like you know you never really truly know how much you hurt somebody until that same thing happens to you and this is exactly what this is the recent past is the six of cups so i kind of feel like this is telling me two things it's possibly somebody from your past that's, uh, that's come back round and done it to you so it's kind of like, I don't want to say revenge, but it's type, similar type of motive. Or it's, it's just inferring that you did this in the past. There's a, almost a, um, perhaps you're seeing it. Perhaps you've, you're coming to a realisation now and you're looking back at somebody you've done that to in the past. And you're realising how much hurt you caused. Because the immediate future is the five of pentacles. This has been in sort of low vibration, feeling left out in the cold because somebody's done to you exactly what you've done to somebody else in the past. However, don't panic because the outcome is strength, it's you. It's stepping into your power again, learning from your past mistakes because, you know, the whole idea of life is learning where you've, where you've gone wrong and not doing it again, essentially. So this is what you're doing. You're stepping into your power afterwards. You're acknowledging the mistakes of the past, not really learn too much how you hurt somebody until that same thing happened to you but as long as you grow from it you know it's the main thing isn't it and you do grow from it I mean you could not find a better card in the outcome for a Leo reading it's you it's strength so I'm not worried there there's just going to be a period of reflection where you're going to feel pretty rubbish um, whilst you reflect whilst you get nostalgic on what's happened in the past and realising that you know Sometimes the only way to truly feel someone's pain is when it happens to you.
Queen of Wands, the Ace of Cups and the Empress. You're going to get your Vava Voom back, you're going to get your, your Spark, your Love for Life, your Abundance. And they've got the Empress with the Nine of Pentacles after that as well. So things are going to look up. This is just kind of a blip in the road where you... It, it's a karmic lesson, essentially. Um, but you're going to bounce back, so I'm not concerned there. So... Seven of Swords, clarified by the Two of Wands. This is what... <laughs> I suppose the Two of Wands is here to say that you've got a decision to make now. Um, there's the ability to see what's happened in the past. You know, the Two of Wands is, is looking back at the past here, in front of me. Um, it's a perfect time to reflect. You know, reflect what behaviours you've done in the past. And... Um, you know, you don't know until it happens to you, essentially. What you're aware of is the lovers with the lovers. So, what I said is definitely sort of, sort of a partnership here that's um, gone wrong, really. There's been some sort of infidelity, some sort of cheating. Um, and again, you know, I don't want to start repeating myself all the time, but the wheel is with justice. It's kind of karmic justice. It's something that you've done in the past. In the recent past, there's a Six of Cups with a Two of Cups. So there's definitely been... There's definitely a sort of real, sort of deep love here. I almost feel like you've really... Someone really fell for you in the past and you've... mistreated them in some... I mean, might not be cheating or infidelity, but there's definitely mistreatment here. And I kind of feel like maybe that you're... You're now madly in love with somebody now and they've left you out in the cold. Um, the Five of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles in in, in this is really standing out how sad she's looking. So there's just there's going to be a period of feeling down. But again, you jump right back up with the strength from the King of Cups. The King of Cups is somebody who becomes emotionally mature, realizes you know how things work. Doesn't necessarily wear his hat on his sleeve, but he's and don't get caught up in gender. We all have masculine, feminine energies. Um, this is somebody that's um, utilizes the best of both worlds. He's got one foot on the ground and one toe in the water, so he knows how to balance the groundedness that you need as well as the emotional side of things. I kind of feel like this is just a lesson that's coming in for you, uh, Leo. But don't worry, you know. Like I say, strength as your outcome is perfect. It's you getting back into the swing of things and um, providing that you utilise this as a lesson. You know, we don't repeat the cycles. And take time out to acknowledge that you did hurt somebody in the past, you know, because that's the only thing to do. Acknowledge it, release it, and move on. Okay. You could be dealing or having your chart being with a fellow Leo possibly Gemini, strong Gemini Sagittarius for me as a reader with a wheel Libra, Justice Taurus with a Hierophant Taurus, Libra again with the Empress but we've got Cups, we've got Wands, we've got Swords, we've got Pentacles everybody's here, but those are your standouts alright it's a lesson it is what it is Yeah, pick yourself up and uh Keep going, keep marching on. Alright, take care, let me know if it resonates. Um, thank you for following the channel, and I'll see you soon.